We are going to look at the one-sided limits of polynomial functions. A polynomial function is a function of the form the px equals a n times x to the power n plus a n minus 1 times x to the power n minus 1 plus similar fashion, but the power is decreasing by 1 down to the lowest power, the x to the power second, power 1, and the last term is as x to the power 0 or just one single number as a real number, where each exponent is a positive integer, and a n, a n minus 1, and so forth, until a 0 are real numbers. If p is a polynomial function, and a is a real number, then the left side limit and the right side limit of that polynomial function is the same as the function value at point A. Let's see example. We're going to find the values of each of the following one-sided limits. In part A, this is the left side limit or left-hand limit as x approaches 2 from the left. Technically, x value that we are looking for is x going to be less than, slightly less than 2 because it's coming from the left, where part B, x approaching negative 1 from positive side, or the x value going to be slightly greater than negative 1. We see negative 3x plus 8 as a polynomial function, same as 4x squared minus 8x plus 3, another polynomial function. Therefore, either the left side the limit or the right side limit, we can find it the same way as we compute the function value at point A. For part A, the value is 2 that we're going to plug in. In part B, the value negative 1, we're going to plug, plug in. So in part A, we're going to have like negative 3 multiplied by 2 plus 8 or negative 6 plus 8. The result is Two. In part B, replace x with the value negative 1, negative 1 squared minus 8 times negative 1 plus 3. We get 4 times 1, which is 4, negative 8 times negative 1, we get pos positive 8, and then plus 3. The result will be 15.